Hello and good morning my friends to this new FreeCAD tutorial here by me, Flowey, and I'm gonna show you today how to model this part here, it's called 0411B, the Auric Tray. This part is a little bit challenging in FreeCAD, but only for one reason. The main reason why this is not so easy is that you have to know about the tools in FreeCAD and how to stack those tools so that you don't use the tools in a wrong order that will make it very painful in FreeCAD. But I'm going to explain you this in detail. So the first thing we need to do, we start in FreeCAD 0.20.2 in the part design workbench. We create a new file. Yeah, and we start with a new sketch. The sketch is going to be placed on the XY plane and we are starting with a centered rectangle. We start at the center point of the sketch and create a dimension horizontal distance of 200 millimeters because that's exactly how it is shown in the technical drawing. And we are creating this vertical dimension of 82 millimeters. So now we close the sketch. So now that we created the 200 by 82 millimeter sketch, we have to change its attachment here to a position of 40 millimeter in Z direction here. And so that we shift it 40 millimeters in the Z axis. Now we are going to use the pad command, 40 millimeters, but please be careful of the direction. We want to pad it downwards so that we reach the zero in Z direction. So we have to click reversed and we have to add a taper angle. If we add the taper angle of six degrees, you will see that it's getting wider on the bottom and that's exactly not what we want. So we have to include minus six here and then it's going to be a little tapered inwards like this, exactly what we wanna do. So um, the first attempt that I did in FreeCAD was that I, I started using all these crazy fillets around here and here and then I uh, used the shell command or thickness command how it's called in FreeCAD. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it to you now but please don't follow me along now just this is just for a demonstration purpose this step here so I am using the fillet of 25 millimeters here on these corners 25 and then I'm using 15 on this corner here on the bottom corner. And what you will now see is that when I use the shell command, or the I always say shell, but it's called thickness here in the English version, on this face here, thickness of three millimeters and make it thickness inwards, nothing is happening because FreeCAD's thickness command is absolutely catastrophic. I hate this command. It's probably one of the worst commands in all FreeCAD. It's super picky and will not work in many, many occasions where it should work. So we delete the two fillets again. Now you can follow along if you like, because now it's going to work if we select this top face here, uh, make three millimeters and create the thickness inwards. Everything works like absolutely no problem, but with the fillets, no chance for me to create this. But okay, it's not a big deal, but I'm just, not very happy about this thing. So the next thing we need to do, we need to make the fillets on the inside of the box. Um, therefore, we could try to select the top view so that we can easily select these edges. You can press V and three, like V three on the keyboard, and then you can select these edges a little bit more easily. So we select this edge hold down the control key and these three edges as well. Click on the fillet command. It's not given in the technical drawing because we only have the out outer fillets here in the technical drawing, but because we know we have a wall thickness of three millimeters, it's 22 millimeters on the inside, 25 minus three millimeters wall thickness is 22. And down this edge here is 12 because 15 on the outside minus three equals 12 millimeters. So V1 on the keyboard and we have this nice box with the fillets on the inside and still no fillets on the outside, but that's not a bad thing because I'm going to try something now. I need to include the ribs. To draw the ribs, I start a new sketch on the XZ plane here 
and I start drawing with the polyline tool here. Create a polyline. I make it quick and dirty and then I'm going to correct it. MMM on the keyboard to switch to the arc mode and go down here to meet this point. Then we are selecting these two points and the axis and go to symmetric. And then we glue the center point on the vertical axis as well. And we are including an angle between these two legs here of 12 degrees. And we are creating a horizontal length for this line here of 10. Um, then we need to create a vertical distance of three. That's exactly the wall thickness. And then only one degree of freedom is missing. It's the height of the rib and the height of the rib is calculated until this tip point of this radius here. We cannot, so we cannot select it easily. So we are just adding another datum point here, create a point somewhere here, glue this datum point also on the vertical axis. And then we are creating a vertical dimension between this point and the sketch origin of 37. Woo, and now we have the rib completed. Nice, I like it. So the next thing we are going to do, we are creating a pad for this rib and we are saying not the dimension, but up to face and we are padding up to this face here, up to this outer face. And now we have a very clean, a very clean geometry here. I like it. So that's cool. So now we are using the create multi-transform in FreeCAD, which is one of the coolest features FreeCAD has, in my opinion, especially the Partisan Workbench. It's one of my favorite tools in the Partisan Workbench. When I tried this exercise for the first time, I found that this step here is super amazing. We simply select this pad, we create the multi-transform. The first step we do, we add a mirror transformation. We mirror along the XC plane so that we get the complete rib here. Then we are creating a linear pattern in the X direction. So X axis and three ribs and in 64 millimeter distance. Let's have a look from the top. Yes, looks amazing looks absolutely as I want it to look. And then we create another crazy mirror transform, but this time we mirror along the Z, Y axis like this. Yes, okay, okay. And now we're almost finished. All that's missing is the outer fillets. And now in the last step, we can create the outer fillets. So yeah, V3 on the keyboard, select these edges again, fillet it for 25 millimeters. Okay, select this outer edge, fill it 15 millimeters. Okay, and then I press V1 on the keyboard. This looks really, really nice. Looks absolutely correct. Last thing we need to do, we have to check the weight. If we compare it to the video of Too Tall Toby, he has 168 grams. To get the weight, we just go for on the macro. Recent macros, it's the FC Info macro. If you have not installed this, I absolutely recommend you to install the FC Info macro here. We enter a density for the part of 1.02, like this. And then we just, just select the body here. And yes, it's calculated 168.22 grams exactly as desired. So that was my video for the org tray in FreeCAD. I hope you learned something. I hope you are also as amazed as I am with the multi-transform tool. Keep in mind that the order of our tools is very important here. So I started with the pad. I then applied the thickness because the thickness would not work after filleting here. So I added the thickness now, then created the two inside fillets so that I create correct geometry for the pad for the rib here, but I only took one half of a rib and then the super amazing multi transform tool to create one half of a rib into five complete ribs. Then in the last step, the outer fillets and we were finished. See you until next time. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. See you then. Flowey is out.